What's up guys, another quick update on the transit. It's kind of back together, but not quite finished yet. Um, to cut a very long story short, um, I did make it to the drift day on the 21st. Um, however, I had a few issues with the BMW, so my day was cut very short indeed. Um, but I'll get back to that on a later video. So in essence, I had to throw the transit back together to get the uh, the compact, the drift day, and obviously get it back again. Um, so in terms of where we are, all the quarter panels and sills are all welded up. I have applied a first coat of filler. Um, I'm just gonna need to sand that back now before it goes goes off the paint. So I'll quickly walk you around and show you that. As you can see, it's quite rough at the moment. Still needs sanding back properly, but we're getting there. The good thing is it's on and it's functional, so I can't complain. So that's kind of where we are with the transit. All the quarters are on. It's um, first cut of filler, which still needs to be sanded down. The underbody's been treated with wax, and today I'm going to do the brakes, which are well overdue. Um, so let's get into that. Right, first job, um, loosen the wheel, nuts, and then uh, jack it up. If you're going to be doing the front brakes, you're going to have to loosen the um, the hub nut, which is behind here. And if you haven't got a decent sized gun, I would, when the van is still on the ground, use a, um, an extension bar, a very long one. So you're going to apply a reasonable bit of torque and undo that hub nut first before lifting the van up and stuff. Otherwise, you'll never get it undone. I think it, it gets torqued down to about 440 newton meters. So it's, it's on there tight. So anyway, let me just get on with that. Right, just going to run through some of the tools you're going to need to change the front discs on a Ford Transit. This is a Mark 6, but I think the same applies to the earlier and the later ones as well. So, you're going to need a T50 Torx bit, a long one, because it's got to get down this hole all the way back to the back to get the, uh, the bolts out. You're going to need a 36mm deep socket, star or hex, to get the hub nut off. You need a 21 mil to actually get the wheel bolts off in the first place, or wheel nuts off, should I say? You're gonna need an 18 mil to get the caliper mounting bracket off. You're gonna need where are we? A 12 mil to get the caliper guide bolts off, which are here. And lastly, you're gonna need a 13 mil to get these caliper mounting bolts, so not caliper, break this mounting bolts off. Oh yeah, sorry, you're going to need a, one of these, a big hammer, and that's to actually get this whole assembly off the knuckle. Um, there's various different methods of doing it. You can get a puller to try and pull the whole thing off. You can take off the, take out the, this ABS ring, which I'll take out in a minute, and try and tap the thread from the back and then put, push through, I think it's a an M13, um, bolt to try and push it from the back to press the whole assembly out of the out of the knuckle um, or you can to be honest with you just use a very big hammer uh, and whack the crap out of the brake disc to get it off clearly if you're wanting to you reuse that brake disc for any reason that's not the preferred approach but as you can see my discs are well and truly done so I'm just gonna whack it and, uh, and get it off that way so um, you also need one of these to press the um, uh, caliper pistons back, although you can do it with any kind of vice press large set of um, uh, pliers or something. Right, with that said, let's get going. Right, okay, first thing to do is get the torque bits out. So you need to line up this to the head at the back. And you just have to feel your way to try and feel that torque to it. It won't slide right in because it'll be rusted like mine if it's an old transit. But as soon as you feel some resistance, just give it a whack of the hammer and actually slide in. And that's almost had it. I think that's it. Okay. I'd use a long extension bar as well so you can get a reasonable amount of torque on it. Anything small, you're just going to round it. Alright, so the key is to be gentle, yet forceful. 
Last thing I want to do is round it because that's going to be an absolute nightmare to sort. There you go. Some lazy old kid who asked it with a gun. I need to try and get it out, which can be a bit tricky. Right. Let's take this pin out. Six. See if she's mad enough to get it off. Three. One side. Now we can take the uh, caliper off. As you can see, uh, <laughs> I've seen better days. It's not a case of the pads being low at all, because there's still quite a bit of meat in them, it's just the fact that there's quite a bit of pitting and stuff on the discs. Right, now it's going to be 18 mil to get the carbon mount off. Well, that's funny because the actual pad just fell off. Right, okay, so... Now it's time to get this bit of the assembly off. So it's hammer time. It's worth putting something down to catch it. Because it is quite heavy. Thirteen to remove the bolt, so we can separate this from the disc. Take it out. There she goes. As you can see, that's a uh, that seam is best, really. So 
So what I need to do is clean this face, clean all around here and his face, and then clean them up on the band. Give it a good grease and copper, and it will go back in. And those new Brembo tabs, the band and Brembo discs. Put a race band. Start to clean it up a little bit. New brick disc. So what I'm doing is literally remounting the uh, the disc. And just making sure it's sat right. is to give all this a good clean Okay, the next part is to put the disc back on, and it's a little heavy, and you need to line up obviously the five holes with these. So what I do is I just place it in there, then line the bolts up, try and put literally just enough in just to hold it, and then whack it on, try and get it square in. So. First time lucky, how about that? <laughs> As I like these discs, I'm not only hitting them with a, a metal hammer. So I'll just tap it on with a soft hammer. through and tighten them all up. Uh, 
Now I'll put this little thingy back in. Grease on the guy points just stops it squeezing. It's time to push the pistons back. So the carpet mounting bolts are 175 newton meters. Right, so the carpet guide bolts are 24 pound foot of torque and it correlates to 35 newton meters. And then these are sixty nine Newton meters. to go to 440 newton meters. My gun or my torque gun don't go to that, so I'm just going to do it off the top of the cannon and try it more. Torques bolts get torqued to 53 newton meters.
Oh, I just to give the discs a clean. Okay, last thing to do is to do them up to 200 newton meters. There you go, all done. Right guys, that's the end of the video. Um, that's basically how to change the front brake discs and pads on a Mark 64 Transit. Um, hopefully for me the brakes will now feel a bit more consistent um, especially when pulling the trailer um, plans to be out at Santa Pod on the 18th of April so I'll test the brakes then um, but yeah thanks for watching and if you've liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up as always if you'd like to see some more hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one cheers bye